beautiful. Heidi, you, 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 she knows them. Brett? So why am I doing this? So you remember. So Angie, can you do it without looking? Let's just check a couple more people. Catherine, can you do it without looking? Actual quantity times actual cost. Actual quantity times standard cost. And standard quantity times standard cost. TJ? Yeah. <laughs> then, then read it. Oh, it's the actual quantity times actual cost. Actual quantity times standard cost. Standard cost. Standard cost. Standard cost. We'll see if we can go with, we can still we see if we can reach a point where three people in a row can do it without. So you get to go again. Awesome. Uh, actual quantity times actual cost, actual quantity times standard cost, standard quantity times standard cost. Beautiful. Victoria? Actual quantity times actual cost, actual quantity times standard cost, and standard quantity times standard cost. Beautiful. Mr. Newland? Actual quantity times actual cost, actual quantity times standard cost, standard quantity times standard cost, standard quantity times standard cost. Okay. Well, let me just pick a random name. Or not. Yeah, that's, I'm starting to look not so random. So I won't, so I won't call it what I'm going, no, that, not that person. <laughs> Me, and so that starts to look a, lot, not, a, lot, a little not too random anymore. So do we all have it memorized? So, so huh? You will in a second. For this second. Well, that's good enough. That's, a, that's good enough. It's got to get into short-term memory before it kind of sticks into long-term. And Sometimes you have to place it there every once in a while. Now, one last thing. That is how that is calculated. Standard allowed for actual, I've never made it look quite that pretty before, I don't think. I just told her earlier, I was like, this is just for this lesson. You were correct. But I even whisper loud, I think. So standard allowed for actual output. And so let me ask you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stephanie, yes. four, if you're in algebra, kind of talking about mathematical symbols associated with words. Four suggests what mathematical symbol? You don't remember? Right off the top. Laura? Anybody? Multiplication. Four, it could, it could be multiplication, I suppose. But in this case, standard allowed for actual output. So actual, so that, so, so we're actually going in order to we're going to have to calculate standard quantity, and it's going to be standard allowed. And notice it's going to be a standard quantity allowed. So it's a standard quantity allowed for actual output, because we're after standard quantity. Now, this is one of those things that students forget, because it doesn't seem natural. I mean, it just kind of seems random right at the moment, does it not? And so I'm going to ask you the question. And see, in, in, in order to be different than what we've, we've already done this once a semester, right? Do you all remember that? Me asking you a question and you answering all together? Do you remember that experience? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. At least one person remembers. So I'm going to ask you another question, and you're all going to answer. Only we're all going to whisper to make this experience different than the last one. Okay, so I'm going to ask the question all together now. not move his lips. <laughs> All I have to do is find one. <laughs> All together now. 
what is standard quantity? The standard allowed for actual output. And then standard output, output is in units, clearly. Oops, let's make that even. Is actual output in units? All together now, what is standard quantity? The standard allowed for actual output. Michael. Right now. Well, you don't have to say in units, but, but uh, it can be kind of fun if we do it like this. Watch. All together. In units! <laughs> right, that, that can be a little more fun. And, it's, this is, and this is actually a little more fun in the fall because it, we're usually doing this about Halloween time. And doesn't it sound just a wee bit creepy? <laughs> you know, because now think Halloween. Tony! What? No, sorry, Scott. Sorry, Tony's falsely accused. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Scott! <What? laughs> you didn't say anything. <laughs> How would you like me to walk into the classroom and say that exact same thing? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be a fun... <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fun <laughs> the test? What? The test over. Eh? <laughs> oh well. So let's do lands and men's suits, shall we? Thank you. So uh, who's next? Ah, uh, Samantha. Samantha, pick a number, any number. Tell me where you think it goes. Oh, let's do the one on the left first, though. Let's do these first. The price variance. So actual quantity, actual cost, actual quantity, standard cost. Well, that's going to be part of it. Yes. Well, did you, oh, you need to know something else, so let me help you. Let me give you another hint. And, and I should have given you this hint earlier. For the price variance, we're going to calculate it for the quantity purchased. Okay? For the price variance, we're going to calculate it for the quantity purchased. For the usage variance, we're going to calculate it for the quantity used. And let me make a bigger arrow so that way it distinguishes it a little bit from the other blue arrow that's on the board. Okay, so we're going to calculate. So, we'd, so, th so this, this uh, Samantha, should find helpful because we need to know the quantity purchased. And that you don't have to do any calculations whatsoever. It's just given to you. Huh? Perfect. 10,000. And in this case, you also gave me another important piece of information. In this case, we are talking about yards, are we not? That's, that's kind of a useful piece of information to keep floating around in the back of your head. We are doing yards here today. Christy, you are next. Well, first we're just going to put the $5 there, yes. So the next step will be to have somebody, you know what, I'm feeling kind of generous, kind of kind and generous and thoughtful. I might do that one for you. Thank you. Now what? What about over here? Actual